just so tokens. The, he titled it Domain Menagerie, and there's no card that it's called Menagerie in it, which you would expect, but I think it's just because it's a literal menagerie of a bunch of different creatures, so. The sideboard, we're looking at Sanctifier and Vec, two Ashok Dream Render, one Surgical, two more ending, Prismatic Endings, that is two Void Mirror. Oh, they've already started. We missed part of it. Uh, looks like we're moving into turn three for the menagerie list. Okay, so we had the turn three thought not seer into. Okay, no, it's it's the thought not seer activation right now. So okay, so yeah, uh, the lists. Oh, did I get them flipped again? Yeah. Gosh dang it. So we're looking at a of a grip for the menagerie list. We have one drown lock, one ignoble, three, two helix, and what's that fifth card? A lot of interaction from the menagerie list, but don't think it's going to cut it against the 4 4. Takes the helix. What are we expecting to see here? We have fetch going to 18. Expecting the Triome here to get Domain online. Thinking long and hard on this. What does he want to get? Another thing, he has, he has the Overgrown Tomb in play, and he has a blue-black spell in hand and two red-white spells in hand. Sorry, one red-white spell yeah. in hand left. So, so we're getting get the Triome. Triome helps him out here. So we'll untap, and that is the teamer. No, that's the Jess guy Triome. So we have domain online. We have three mana. Domain is at the ready. One land in hand. These domain lists are very powerful for a fair type strategy. Yes. And this this particular domain list is an absolute pile of cards. Yeah, it is, have it to is look it over. very not typical of domain, but it's very cool. Just like, I mean, you 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 have five colors, so I guess he's thinking you might as well take advantage of all the different creatures that are in those different colors. That fifth card that we couldn't take out during the uh, the Thought Not Seer activation, the ETB trigger, was a bolt. So our hand is. Stomping Ground, Bolt, Helix, Ignoble, Drown in the Lock. Reality Smasher. That's uh, pretty bad news, I think. That's brutal. Fetching going to 16. Do we shock here, or do we? are we trying to find a basic? Getting a Sacred Foundry, okay. I anticipate the shock going down to 14. We're going to see what bolt drown in the lock. Fourteen. There we go. But that's gonna eat his hand away real fast. Which one was that? That, was, that? that was the Helix. Followed by the Bolt from the uh, Red Man off the Ignoble. Uh, doesn't Reality Smasher yeah. cause him to discard a card to that? Whenever it becomes a, a target, target a you have to counter unless you discard. Did yep. he not do that? No, he did not. I mean, uh, I... So he still has a grip. So that would be a miss trigger that, by the from opponent. The, yeah, that, yeah, I mean that's like Chalice's Void. You can cast a spell right into Chalice's Void. Right. Yep. You're totally allowed to do that. They have to choose to counter it. Yep. Another ignoble. And we know that we we know we have Drown the Lock in hand. 
but we're looking at Formel Drozzy Tron and what Chalice, Ulamog, playing a power plant. I, I don't think that's a, a judge call that we can make. That's that's on them. I'll actually go check real quick. Um, last time we actually stopped the game and we shouldn't have. So gotcha. Because it yeah. was a, it was technically a missed trigger. Um, yeah, I'm like. Pretty, pretty positive sure that we aren't supposed to yeah. interact with that at all right but i will i will double check just to make sure i'll pull the judge to the side and not interfere with the game but you know not yeah because that's just a missed trigger yeah. that's not yeah we're we're not skipping over a game action that right. you have to take or have to follow there right uh chalice on one it looks like that dies on one yeah okay Tell us on one so that handles nothing in hand we <laughs> chalice on two i assume yeah th we have to drown lock here right he only has two mana available to pay i mean i'd be surprised if we, if we don't drown and lock this, yeah you right? gotta get something you, you have to do something here some your hand is Two spells that are both two CMC. Like it looks to the face just to get some value out of it. So sixteen here. So yeah, I talked to. Let's. Is his other card drown? Yeah, yeah. His other cards drown the lock. I, why? Why resolve. didn't we? He has. He has the mana. Huh. So I talked to our our judge out there, Mister Hammer, and Aaron said that it is indeed a miss trigger, and if the judge were to be called at this point he would come back and what you do since it's a detrimental trigger oh, yeah. to the player that it was his creature he would ask the opponent if he wants to put it on the stack and then the opponent would just say no right and then he wouldn't discard a card so okay. um, because the trigger was not announced it is just a missed trigger yeah, that's pretty much what i thought we're frozen All right, we're trying to get this fixed for you guys. So, declaring the attacks, no blocks. We know those one card in hand was Drown and the Lock. So there's no response to that. Can't cast it. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, we fetched. Going to 11 now, getting a basic Swamp. And we're frozen again. Uh, well, while we wait for the, to get this fixed... You want to do one of the USBs in the front, Taryn? Let's look at this here. So, looking at the sideboard text for both these lists, and we're back. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't know why that camera keeps freezing like that. It shouldn't be doing that. Looks like we have a hard-casted Fury that got rid of the Thought Knot Seer, which would have allowed Etron to draw a card. Well, so that, the domain list is really battling with yes. with it. The, the person that killed the button on here draws a card. Correct. Go, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it would have been domain refilling the hand. So domain menagerie now has a 3-3 three, three double strike in play. Cannot play one mana spells or two mana spells. Yeah, those chalices are, are uh, brutal right now. Did we did Eldrazitron play chal play a one mana map into their own chalice? I think they did. Oh yeah, okay. that's that's an Ulamong the Ceaseless Hunger. There is a cast trigger. Seems like they're discussing what the cast, the ability, okay. Fair targets here it takes uh it takes Jacob Summers off of his domain. We only have four basic land types in play now. No white mana available. Grief. Grief return. No cards in hand. 
here's my hand. <laughs> yeah, there, there's there's your hand. Uh, I have a 10-10. And I'm indestructible. Going, indestructible, and when I attack, you're going to exile mill 20 cards. Yeah, I believe this game is going to be over very quickly now. Hey, what's up, Dark Raptor? Happy stream day. Karen, were you able to see what we're uh, tapping mana for here? Uh, I can't. Uh, here's another map. Looks Was like it a draw? A matter of shaper. Oh, did he draw off like Seagate Wreckage or something? Yeah. Mm. That's what it was. Okay. Olamog announced the trigger, says exile 20, please. One, this is brutal. Ulamog coming down is... That's just never what you want. And all things considered, had we uh, drowned and locked that first chalice, that chalice on two, yeah, that would at least give us an opportunity to counter this one, but... Honestly, with the fact that you haven't... Uh, the fact that he's got Ulamog and he's going to get to see a ton of his cards, I probably would have scooped at this point because the percentage of winnings super low into two chalices and ulamog and everything yeah. and then also you you're going to conceal a bunch of information for your sideboarding yeah right moving on to game two taryn looking at this eldrazi tron list what are we what, what are you bringing in against domain um let's see well i mean you've got a ton of those artifacts that karn goes and gets right is that he's running karn yeah yeah karn the great creator four of them um you have Ratchet Bomb, which I think that's just a tutor target, but I mean, you could just go get that. I I, I don't think you really sideboard anything, because these are all things that you're just supposed to go get with Karn. <laughs> so, but as far as this domain list from Jacob Summers, uh, I think we're looking at one Surgical coming in, and possibly the two Prismatic Endings, and but the endings are only going to be there to take out Map, if he doesn't have the mana for it or chalices, so but yeah. we're definitely seeing void mirrors coming. In. I'd be incredibly yep. surprised to not see two oh, yeah. void mirrors coming in here. Void. So the nice thing about prismatic ending, if I'm thinking correctly, if chalice is on one or two, you just, yeah, you can just since it's X and it, it looks at it on the stack, you can actually pump four different mm -hmm. mana into it mm -hmm. and it's still exile the permit. So it will get around the chalice yep. because the X in the cost. Yep. You could pay five or six mana if you wanted to. And... Right. That's actually a really, uh, really good card that needs to come in then for sure. Yeah. Yep. And if, if we can either remove, actually we don't have anything main board. Oh, if we can grief out a chalice from their hand, and surgical the chalice is away or surgical the maps away it might that might just be what he wants there but probably won't see maybe surgical probably the two prismatic endings and the definite two void mirrors is what I, i'm expecting to see out of this i also assume our domain aggro list is going to be on the play here yeah yeah it's i've talked about it in modern I don't think there is a single deck in the format that would not take the play. Yeah. It's such a fast format that being on the play is a, a big advantage. Um, the only thing I can think of now, though, is you are seeing a lot of gemstone caverns. The only thing about gemstone caverns is you got to exile that card from your hand, but you're drawing. You're drawing. So you're, you're putting that land down and then drawing, and it's almost kind of... Je um, you don't ever choose to be on the draw with gemstone caverns. It's just to catch you up when you are on the draw. Right. But, yeah. Well, some those, people those are. Decks. Some people are talking about putting it in the sideboard and then bringing, bringing it, it in, in when you're on the draw. When you're yeah. on the draw. Yep. That's a, definitely a thing you can do. Is that a void mirror in the opening hand that we see? Is is that? I think it is. Could be pretty tough to deal with. That. We don't, and I don't, I don't, our Etron list doesn't have any form of. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to deal with that for Etron. Unless, so there, he can't get he Etron won't be able to play a Thought Knot. Blast Zone, Blast Zone can get it. Or Blast Zone can get it. 
So he won't be able to thought nod it away nope. in time. Yep. I don't think he. I think if he just turned to void mirrors, I don't think he can really lose. Like, blast zone is it? Blast zone is going to be his catch all here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's absolutely detrimental if we see turn one expedition Which... map to go get a Tron piece instead of a blast zone? Uh, yeah, that could be pretty bad. But I mean, it's going to be turn to void mirror. He's going to have the map out and he's going to see. And, yeah. And he should know. Let's go get blast zone. That's your only chance at getting it out of this. So. E Tron on the mole to five. Okay. He does not have a map anymore to go get blast zone. So. He had a map in that hand. I know, and it, I was saying anymore. Like yeah. he, he could mull into it, obviously, but he mulled away his hand that had a map to go get blasted in. But I believe that hand was one land, two pieces of tr uh, of. Uh... Then yeah, maybe it wouldn't have even worked out anyways. Yeah. So what a real quick while they're resolving mulligans, pretty awesome event, pretty hectic this morning. Love yeah. it, love to see it in the shop. Fifty nine players in the event. Um, we had like 78 signed up. We had got yeah. through several standby people, I, but there were chunks of people that just didn't come. Yeah. You know, I imagine some amount of people just, you know, saw that, oh, I've, I'm the 70th something person to sign up. So, like, a lot of those people didn't come where they, they would have been able to get in then, then. Like, the 77th did come, though. He's in. Nice. That's great. We love to yeah. that. And uh, is that Shake or Shake? Shake would well? have been like 79. Yeah. Yeah, we had a player just walk in today and get the code and was able to play. So yeah, I guess that's cool for him. <laughs> but to touch on how we are in the shop today, I think it's great energy. I love it here. We have 59, 59, have 59 players, 59 people in here, all playing a game that they love. Yeah, level two judge down here. Oh. Doubled the prize support. Yes, doubled the prize support. This is no longer a one k. It is a two k. Twenty. $2,060 in the prize pool today, paying out to 16th place. All right. So, this mold of five. The person who got the five was the one that won the last event. Randall. Oh, just so I can see here. Well, what a way to start off. Again, domain opens up with, I feel like any, any hand where you have two lands and a void mirror, I think you're just keeping. Oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. Yep. Shocking. 18. Time to play Void Mirror. Yep. Yep. All right. So, <laughs> game three? I mean, he literally just has to find Blast Zone somehow. He has to draw into he it. He just has to draw into his one copy of Blast Zone. That's the only out. And that, out of the list I'm looking at. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Void Mirror, whenever a player casts a spell, if no colored mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Yeah. Which so unless Eldrazi Tron has some sort of colored mana, which they don't that I know list. of. Um and yeah, we have the deck list, so not in that list. Every spell that they attempt to resolve yeah. will be countered. And a lot of people are running this and bringing it in against the suspend decks because it shuts off cheating in the suspend cards because you don't spend any mana at all to cast them, so spending no colored mana that counters them but speaking so. of cascade we see domain draw a shardless agent here yes shardless agent i have been jamming in a lot of different decks um and remember that cascade is a cash trigger So Cascade is a cast trigger, and then you actually cast the card with Cascade. So that matters in a lot of wording. Yeah. Yep. So just seeing Kavu beats, it looks like. Yeah. Kavu uh, is just making it so that drawing into this blast zone has to be immediate. Um, I don't even, if he draws it this turn, is he even fine? No, because it entered the one counter, you got to take a turn to put a counter on it and yeah. activate it. So I think he's just out of time. <laughs> oh, there's a Fury. Wait, wait, wait. That's going to deal some damage. What just happened with the Fury? Exiled a card from his hand and cast it. Oh, I thought he played that card. No. Oh. <laughs> I believe he paid three life using priest of fell rights and sacrificed it to return uh, uh fury to play okay so gotcha yeah. yep that's a very interesting that's a di that's a different line right? interaction yeah we i've not seen 
increases the fire rates in action. So, but Windmere number two. It, yeah, they, they, they figured it out. Because can't cast it. Oh, can't cast it. Yeah, right. Can't cascade any yeah. Windmere's. So. We already went over how that interacts with <laughs> Yep. Yes. I just have to make sure it didn't sink. All right, moving on to game yeah. three. Yeah, so the Void Mirror made, made those the Aldrazi Tron deck, and just that was it. And so now, what does Eldrazi Tron have I, to stop it? Um, if if you have a turn two Void Mirror, can Eldrazi Tron get around it? I literally don't see anything in here that stops it. Other than having the Blast Zone. He has to either... He's on the play here, so the one thing he can do is turn two... Chalice two. Turn two, Chalice on two? Or No, no. No, you can only Chalice, chalice on, on one. Four. No, what I was going to say is turn two... Um, Four mana, uh, uh, thought not seer. Turn two thought not seer. Get out of his hand. That's probably his best bet. But it is it is only two void mirrors. Yeah. So honestly, since void mirror is so good in this matchup, I could see taking a couple mulligans just to try to find it. But because game one didn't look too good from uh, no, felt felt behind for the domain player. Yeah, I yeah. would definitely. Mulligan to five just to find a void mirror here because it, it, it's just so game winning. What right? I mean, like, I, I mean, I probably I would, but if you draw time. if you draw seven and you have a couple of drown in the locks, and you maybe know, the, only about, really the only thing about the only thing about drown in the lock is is it's not real good because you're casting high converted mana cost early, which means that you would need your opponent right. to have a lot of cards in a graveyard, right? So, drown in the lock's actually not oh. very good. There's Chalice on one. Chalice on one, but that Chalice on one does not stop Void Mirror turn two. Does he? Does he have it? He has, has it. it. Oh wow! Yeah, he has his, it again. I wonder why he didn't play his high art. Yes. So he has. He That's could have played. He could have played turn one high arc, and then into turn two Void Mirror. But now we'll just have to sit with that high arc in hand for the rest of the game. And that hand also has two Drown in the Locks. So, even if no, we, we he doesn't Eldrazi Drawn doesn't even have a way to make colored mana, so he can't stick a creature at all. Yeah, yeah it's this is. It looks like Domain's just gonna wrap this up with a Void Mirror. That's crazy how hard it stomps Eldrazi Drawn. I did not realize that. Yeah. At least oh. this particular list, I literally yeah. one copy of Blast, and that's the only answer he has. I mean. You don't change the Eldrazi Tron list though to include a colored mana to I mean I like, wouldn't think. I, I think just don't think you could do that. But I mean Eldrazi Tron might have to yeah, it's just might have to adapt and do that. Right. And it's it what really stinks for Eldrazi Tron is just the fact that people are running Voidmere to beat suspend because of how good suspend spells are right now. Right. But they just randomly get absolutely smacked by the sideboard card. <laughs> <laughs> People don't even bring it in against uh tr like would you even bring that in against regular Tron because they just have so much green mana with the sometimes chromatics and stuff like you force them to have it yeah I mean it, I can see it being good it's just doesn't I feel like we have better options yeah to bring in regular green Tron though does run because of damping sphere they do run a lot of the green artifact removal yeah, so they would yeah, have they, a lot of almost, answers to it whereas they e -tron, always bored into nature's claim right like against any deck basically just yeah. bring in nature's claims so we have a kavu that kavu looks like it's just going to start dwindling away our yeah. draws tron's player life total yep i see no blast zone <laughs> anywhere in sight And that is the power of sideboarding. Yes. Yeah. Granted, having a full grip with a void mirror, it's really hard to, to beat yeah. that. Triome coming in. Sets up domain for our Kavu. So that Kavu is a 5-5? Five, five? Believe yeah. it is. That is a very powerful card for two mana let's see here takes takes some build around though yeah. you yeah. have to 
you know, build your mana base and build your deck around it. You have to play with the tap triumphs. Yeah, it is a five five. It gets its power and toughness is equal to the number of basic land types among lands you control. And whenever it attacks, you choose one, discard a card if you do draw a card, or you can exile up to one target card from a graveyard. So what's a bummer for the Etron player is they played Chalice on turn two. If they would have played an expedition map instead. Right. Yep. Um, you could have fetched up the blast zone correct with expedition map. It's mm -hmm. any land. Yep. If any land. I don't know if that was in hand, yep. but I see an expedition map in hand right now. Right. So yeah, now he's also locked himself out of ever searching the blast zone. Right. He also can no longer play expedition map. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. In, like no, with not not just because of chalice but because of void mirror as well like there's two, oh right like, right chalice right, on one thing stopping it yeah yeah like it's not just his own piece of interaction it's also his opponents yeah goes quarter away the triome take him off of domain that uh, kavu is still presently a and three three but... dolphy void walker sitting there too yeah, but he's he's gonna get to fetch a basic, basic, so he might be able to get the back up to four. Um, it looks like he's grabbing a four. I was gonna say the only basics nope. the okay. only basics that he's playing are the Jun basics, four swamp and mountain. He doesn't have any planes or an island to help him out with that. Gonna shuffling up here, we'll have. I assume just one more turn of this. So we will untap draw. I see a lightning helix. Yeah. Is that a bolt? That's a helix bolt, yeah. regardless agent in bolt. hand. Drown in the lock. So that should be Drown a Doppy Voidwalker trigger, right? Why? Doesn't what's it? It's whenever they um whenever a card goes to the graveyard you exile it. Oh okay. I was thinking when it dealt damage. Sorry. That's how a lot of rogues are when they deal damage, they do something. <laughs> right. I've thought that before too. It's like on attack or on damage or whatever. Uh, he's... <laughs> I think he just cast his spells into Void Mirror and then tapped all of his mana. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, that's... Yeah, well... Oh, so he can get him back with yeah. Dothy? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I think he's just helping him in the game. My opponent needed some more help. <laughs> you can't. He can't cast it's it with Dothy gonna... either. Yeah, 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 oh. it, yeah. He's at six. Dude, yeah, we just swing in. Yeah. Hit him for seven. Ended up. Wow. All right. So, so the void uh, mirror out of the sideboard. What the... did we learn? <laughs> yeah. What did we learn? <laughs> we learned Etron does not have a good matchup against decks with void mirror. Apparently. Uh, 